YouTube, what's up, what's happening? Gonna give you guys a quick another lesson today. Um, as you can obviously tell by the title here or there or wherever YouTube puts it for you. And take a look at some bubble lettering today. Now, if you watched my other lettering videos, this one's probably not gonna be much different and that's actually gonna feel a lot like doing block lettering, except for some slight differences and you'll see what I mean in just a sec. So for today's video, of course, you're going to need your airbrush. Um, I got an Iwata HP uh, BCS here, uh, bottom feet. So, and we're going to use some Createx Maui Blue uh, for this demonstration. I'm going to use some spray adhesive, some 3M Super 77, and some paper towels, of course. Uh, they're always good to practice on if you haven't learned to practice on paper towels. Um, this is probably one of the best things to practice on is just paper towels. Uh, so we'll start off by putting some paper towels on the board. Again, just spray some spray adhesive lightly on your paper towels. And then stick it on there. Like so. And so... Again, just like block lettering, you know, when I first showed you, I showed you how to just kind of do it lightly, you know, do the letters lightly, and then go back around it. So we're going to start off by doing the letters lightly. So I'll start by writing the letter bubble, and then, you know, I'll show you how I get the bubble letter. See, it says the word bubble. I mean, you may not be able to see it too, too good, but it says bubble, and it's just a normal, you know, writing. Um, it's just really, really light on there. Again, if you make a really light line from far away, it'll come out fuzzy like that. So, uh, now the basic premise for making bubble lettering is making everything round, but you also still want to make it look like the, the letter, and you kind of want to make it look like it's bulging. You don't want it to just be round and just. You know, uh, you want it to look like it's almost too fat for itself, kind of feel. So I'll start off by doing the B, and then I'll explain to what some of the lines kind of represent, or how, you know, why I do it that way. So. so as you can see right there, um, I've chosen to intersect here, and. The holes for the B are just little, like, kind of short curved C's. It just kind of makes it seem like it's, you know, really fat and just too much for itself. And again, I'll do the U, and uh, you'll get a pretty basic premise of what I'm doing here. Again, it's just one line intersecting, and it's all rounded, and, you know, you don't have to get too big and too round, but... You know, just give it a nice round shape, and again, only one line intersects, and the other one comes off of that. So, it gives it a cool, nice little round and fat look. So, let me just finish off the rest of the word here, and then I'll go over some things. Alright, so there you go, you have the whole word. Um, as you can see here, I've chosen to intersect these at the top. I mean, it's just the way to change it up. And uh, again, the L is just one intersection, and the E. It's just one fat, and another fat, and another one. So, pretty simple. And again, this lettering is something you can have lots of fun with. Alright, so. You could fade it up, you could add little like shimmer effects just like a real bubble. And you know, you could shade it on the outside and you know, do your whole effect there. But getting the basic premise of the lettering down, that's, that's pretty, always pretty, um, I guess, helpful and the most important part. So, you know, again, I can't teach you how to draw your letters, um, but 
I would say practice it. So if you know you just like I do with all the other letters, um, go ahead and do your whole alphabet A, B, C, D, and until you get comfortable, even if you just want to start off doing your name. That's one of the ways I really felt comfortable is, you know, first starting to learn to do my name and then move on from there. And again, one of the fun parts about it is learning how to decorate it. You don't have to do nothing too fancy to get this to look good because a lot of it is in the styling of the lettering. So, there you go. That, there you go. That's pretty much bubble lettering in a nutshell. So again, as with any other lettering, I cannot stress enough, you need to practice, 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 and you know, give it some style, give it some flair. Every artist is different, so I don't expect you to look exactly like mine. And honestly, some of you guys might even make it look way better than this. This is only using one color, you know, blah, blah, blah. But again, every artist has his style, and you know, that's mine. It's quick, easy, and you know, once you add some more colors, you can really liven it up. But anyway, guys, I want to see your guys' results down in the comments. If you got any more questions, let me know. I'm going to be pumping out a little bit more videos more frequently now. So, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for learning. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Later.